Okay, thanks for tuning into my channel today, guys. Today is what I want to explain to you is there are so many people that look at a bigger number rather than a smaller number, and that goes into our mind, into our subconscious. So what do I mean by that? I mean, if somebody wants to make, let's say, $50,000 a year, which is not much, but it's $50,000 a year, they look at the 50000 instead of looking at in reality, that's only 133 a month or a day. So in this video, I'm going to take you through some tricks you can do to play with that number and get what you want in life. Okay, welcome back everybody. Today, I want to tell you about an income strategy that you can use in your everyday life. And like I talked about in the intro, we're just going to play with, um, let's say, $48,000. Uh, it's not a huge number. Uh, it's okay. Uh, it, it's definitely going to get you by. And nothing I say in this video should be making you think lack or not living to your standard of living. So you don't want to lower your standard of living to meet the 48K, okay, or whatever it might be. But a 48K is what you're basically looking at is about $133 a day. Now, what can you do to earn $133 a day? So here's one of the things. If we stop and look at 133 a day, now something that most of us do not do is think. So my mentor, Bob Proctor, has always said 2% of the people think, 3% think they think, and 95% would rather die than think. So what does he mean by that? So we're not using our mind and thinking about anything. So if you put in the play $133 a day, now what we're going to do is we're going to stop and we're going to think, and we're going to think a lot. And we're going to fall instantly into that 2% of people, which is very rare to do, but you're going to be glad you did. So let's take $133, the basic amount. So instead of thinking of raising up to the 133, reverse it and think from the 133. So what do I mean by that? So the first thing we can do is get a piece of paper out and you can write down at the top 133. Um, writing causes thinking. So anytime we can write and not do it in our mind, actually just write on paper, it helps and it does something to us and it starts the law of attraction and it emotes thinking and that causes feelings and that's what we want to do. So if you start with 133 and then you go through your day and you again, you think, what can I do to deduct from that 133? might be, I really don't need to have that Starbucks coffee in the morning. That's kind of stupid. I mean, why am I spending 6 or $7, whatever it might be, on a muffin and a coffee every morning? So you can deduct that. You might deduct stuff like, um, I don't need to go out to the bar on a Friday night and drop 40 or 50 bucks because my buddy's drinking when there's no point in it. You know, you can, you can drop money like that. You can do simple things in life. Like, let's say you go to a restaurant. And um, it's a staple for everybody to order, let's say, a soda. Nobody really drinks the soda. They might have a little sip of it to wash down their food. Um, but get a water. Why, why buy? Now, the soda is costing you like 3 or $4. There's no point in it. Why are, you, why are you doing that? Why are you spending that? So you're not lowering your standard of living. You're, just, you're thinking, why am I doing that? So you can take that and knock it off that 133 so you can get it down to, let's say, um, just the random stupid things that we might do on a daily basis. Let's say we knock that down to $95. Now I have $95 that I need to make to hit the 133 Then we can go to a bigger picture. Let's say you go into your monthly bills. A lot of people have monthly charges coming off of their credit card or their ATM card that they don't even really know about, or they don't necessarily use, or they don't need, and there's a lot of it. So a lot of people are paying a very high insurance premium, they don't understand why, they don't look into it. 
you know, uh, maybe lowering your de deductible, or maybe doing a couple of little tricks on this or that. They don't really know. Your cell phone bill, um, your cable bill, your your TV bill, you know, I have this, I'm subscribed to Netflix and I haven't used Netflix in three months. Well, then why are you paying every month for it? You know, there's different things like that. And you can take those bigger bills and then you can divide them by 30, which there's 30 days in a month. And you can tick that off that 95. And we can do the best that we can to get that number down. And now we're looking at, let's say we're looking at like $65. Well, what can I do for $65 a day? So all of this stuff is replacing your income. So if you have a job you go to from 9 to 5 and you sweat it out and you think, oh, being self-employed is too hard, well, start thinking $133 a day is going to get me $48,000 a year. That's not that hard to do. And I don't have to go and clock in and work on a job from nine to five every day. But the problem is we don't think, you know, we've never really thought about that. Well, that's all that is. Now, and that's just a number you can play with. Of course, you can go up to 250 a day, 500 a day, whatever you want to do. But that's like a base toy to play with. And you can fill in the blanks wherever you want. So I'm not suggesting that $133 is not going to add a park or some kind of great income. Um, I'm just giving you a base to play with. So when we start thinking of the things that we can do to get to 133, and instead of adding from 0 to 133, we start deducting from the 133 down. Play with it. That invokes thinking. So now all of a sudden you're thinking of how I can get that off. So as you go through your day, little things might come up and you might think, oh wait, I'm not going to do that. That's that's, that's $2, that's a that's stupid, wasteful money. Why am I doing that for? And you can do stuff like that, and you can play with that number of 133. So I hope this helps some of you out when it comes to getting financial success and building that base, and instead of working with a big number, work from a smaller number. You know, my mentor, Bob Proctor, he says to make a million look small. So let's say you want a million dollars a year. Your first look at that would be a million dollars. That's a lot of freaking money. I don't want nothing to do it. That's going to be too hard or that's not my playbook or we we real house or whatever it might be. But now chunk it down. So it's $86,000 a month. Well, chunk it down again. You know, that's 40000 every two weeks or 44000 every two weeks. And chunk it down again. That's 21000 every two weeks. And then chunk it down again. That's only... And you can get it down to where now you're staring at like $6,000 or, or $2,000 a day. And you're subconsciously looking at that number, which is a lot better number, an easier number for us to digest and program the subconscious mind than the million dollars. So you enhance, get to the million dollars, but you've done it through thinking of a smaller number. We can digest. Our subconscious mind will take in more easy and it's going to be easy for us to think, yeah, I can do that. I can do that. And that is where the key is. When, you, when your belief system matches what you want. So have your belief system match what you want by using, chunking it down in a smaller number. And that's basically what the 133 a day is. It's chunking it down from, let's say, 48,000. You chunk it down to that. And then as you go, you can add on to it. You know, you might get down way below, you might hit zero and think, okay, now it's just all extra stuff that I have going on. Or you might set your base at 150 a day or 200 a day. It doesn't matter where you set your base, but when you hit your base, you can start going lower, which is actually going to in turn be higher than your 133 or 150. And that invokes thinking. So I hope you guys got some out of this video. Please click like and share if you enjoyed the video. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Thanks.